in the studio with me right now is Vince Fry, the president and CEO of Downtown Topeka Incorporated. How you doing, Vince? Doing good, Chris. Thanks. Hey, thanks for coming back on the show. We had you on here right after you started mm -hmm. the job, mm -hmm. so uh, we didn't want to grill you too hard because you were kind of getting your yeah, sea legs for you. it. But, Appreciate that. But you've been there for a while now, yeah. and we've seen a lot of really great things happening downtown. You want to Give us a little state of the downtown area here. Well, it's been about a year and eight months since I took the job, and a lot has happened. Uh, you know, the city council approved uh, doing the infrastructure on Kansas Avenue from 6th to 10th Street, which we're badly in need of. Um, people can see the, the sidewalks, the curbs, the medians are crumbling. What they can't see is what's underneath Kansas Avenue, which has been there for 70, 80, 90 years. Mm -hmm. uh, water lines, gas, things that need up, upgrading. So city council approved that and uh, that was great, but a lot of people said we want more than just doing that. We want downtown to really be a place of, of pride and, and something that we can all go and, and be a destination for us. So uh, the private sector said, we'll, we'll go out and we'll raise money to add what we call enhancements. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, they've been doing over the last uh, year. Well, and it, this is nothing brand new to Topeka. A lot of communities all across mm -hmm. the country are, are going back to their core, the going back to their downtown areas. And, you know, a lot of a lot of them across the country have let them fall apart. Mm -hmm. uh, and now it's they're putting them back together. So mm -hmm. so we're we're doing that. And what I think is really cool is that you've kind of come up with some creative ways to make that happen mm -hmm. uh, through the discussion in the community. Sure. And and it's taken a, a pretty long path there. But uh, kind of explain that path. How did we get to this? Well, it's kind of been a long uh, journey. In 2008, the uh, visioning process took place. Thousands of people came and voiced their opinion as to what they want to see in this community in the future. The number one priority was a revitalized downtown. That was 2008. So a lot of things happened between then and now, but a group got together and they named themselves the Capital District Project. They uh, brought in some well-known urban uh, designers and speakers and uh, hosted several charrettes uh, on downtown. And people again came out and said, this is what we want to see in our downtown. So a lot of good ideas were shared. Many of those are now in the plan that is going forward. And of course, the city, this is a city project. It's a public and private um, project. Um, but it starts in March and uh, with the digging up on the east side of Kansas Avenue and all the utilities will be put in on the east side and then 2015 uh, they will finish on the west side. But a lot of uh, unique design and uh, additions which I, I said are enhancements to Kansas Avenue from this. So it's important to note that during the construction as a two-year project mm -hmm. that there will be uh, traffic going in both ways the whole time. So two we'll two lanes this, going at all times. We're not going to be chopping it down and, and Correct. stopping. Correct. So. Every business will uh, be able to have customers come to their front door. There will be no interruption. Um, there will be obviously construction going on, but we'll be doing a lot of promotion and getting the word out that, you know, we're open and uh, people can come down here. And we want people to realize that when they see this, this construction, it means progress, mm -hmm. something positive is happening. And so uh, I think people will be excited to see what happens. So, and, and Kansas Avenue is currently in a five lane uh, mm -hmm. configuration. They're talking about going down to a three lane. So there'd be one Correct. lane in each direction and then a center lane for emergencies. And Correct. Uh, explain the rationale behind that. Well, a lot of cities are doing this. Lawrence is one where they've, they've only got the three lanes, um, want to make it more um, pedestrian friendly, slow down traffic, uh, so we're widening the sidewalks. There will be opportunities for outdoor dining, kind of a commerce zone out in front of each business of about 11 feet. But um, yeah, narrowing the, the street from five to three lanes and widening the sidewalks. So it will be more of a pedestrian exactly. area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, how's the business change down here? Uh, you know, from the fact that, you know, this is now happening, are we seeing more businesses, more interest in this area? Yeah, there's a lot of interest. Um, actually, on Kansas Avenue alone, there have been nine buildings that have been purchased in 2013. Wow. People that realize that there's... Uh, going to be a lot of uh, energy and uh, enthusiasm, and they're wanting to be a part of it. Some of them want to live downtown, and so they bought buildings 
to create lofts to live in. Some of them obviously are wanting to, to put in the types of businesses that we know people want to come down town for at night and on weekends. And that'll really be a key when we get all of the project finished is to have the right mix of businesses down here. Are you finding people a little bit uh, you know, apprehensive to say, I want to open this business right now? Do you think when this construction process is done that we're going to be seeing these businesses pop up? Mm -hmm. or, or are people taking the leap now and getting ready and established at this time? Yeah, well, there is apprehension, as you can imagine. Uh, when there's a construction project out in front of the business that you hope to, to open. But there is a lot of interest. We're seeing it from outside the community as well as businesses that uh, are currently uh, Chapeka based. And, uh, you know, they want to be down here. They realize that there's 25,000 people that work downtown every single day. Yeah. There's a market there that is really significant. But on top of that, they understand that the capital has just been renovated. People are going to be coming to visit that in droves, and they want to be able to take advantage of all those visitors that will come just to visit the Capitol building. So uh, there is a great deal of interest, and um, so I'd love to see somebody tomorrow say, hey, we're ready to, to build an anchor uh, department store downtown or bring in uh, this uh, outstanding restaurant. But, um, you know, people are looking, people are interested, and it's just a matter of time before all of those say we're ready to go. I think people really underestimate the power of the Capitol building. Mm -hmm. I, I know from our businesses being right around the corner from where that is, uh, I've seen big name celebrities come to Topeka and stop in and grab a cup of coffee or, you know, something. And I'm like, uh, hi, why, why are you here? And they say, well, we stop and we like to see the Capitol building mm -hmm. in all the states as we yeah. tour through. There's a lot of people like to do that. And, and this is going to be now with this. Uh, how beautiful this sure. is now. I mean, it is beautiful. It's... And when those big name celebrities stop in, call me. I'd like to I come will, down right? and see I, some of them. I yeah. would love to say their names, but I don't think they would like me to. <laughs> but, so. you know, it is unique. There's only 50 of them in the country, and ours, quite frankly, I was just there today, is absolutely spectacular. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And it, it's been a long process for mm -hmm. that. And now they've got uh, the visitor center, and maybe mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, what we're, what we're seeing at the Capitol. Well, um, uh, right off of 8th Street, you can pull up kind of in a circle drive and, and be let off and go right into a visitor's center at the Capitol. It's uh, got some great uh, displays of, of uh, artifacts. Uh, there's a, um, a kind of a retail uh, shop in there that you can uh, get some uh, merchandise. Uh, but it, it's just an entryway into this beautiful Capitol that's been completely refurbished. And if uh, if you've not been there, you really need to go and take a look because it is truly uh, spectacular. It's, it's a lot of times it's hard for us to be a tourist in our own city, but when you've got something this really mm -hmm. cool That's right true. there, yeah. you need to get out and check it That's out. True. So, you know, with the redevelopment project and all that's going to happen, we'll have these pocket parks, uh, mid-block crossings, pavilions, and, you know, we'll tell the history of who we are as a community through these pocket parks. So when pe people come from out of town and they stroll through downtown um, Topeka, they'll be able to, to get a good idea of how we came about and who some of our famous citizens have been. And, and it'll tell a story that people can go away saying, this community is really cool. And, and really the business part of this, that the businesses are sponsoring these parks as mm -hmm. well. Uh, are, is there some kind of a tie-in for, you know, which business sponsors which park of maybe what is being done as well? Sure. Um, you know, we've raised $2.1 million from the private sector for these enhancements. Um, and, you know, we have various opportunities for people to donate, and at the level that they donate, they can get things like a pocket park. Mm -hmm. So um, Capital Federal, West Star, Hills, uh, Security Benefit, uh, Bartlett and West, and uh, Mars at this point have all stepped up and they will have pocket parks. And there'll be uh, certainly information uh, in those pocket parks that tell the story about those companies too. Sure. But everything will be, there will be a continuity throughout all of downtown and uh, it'll really be uh, places that you can sit, relax, learn, um, probably have music being played, um, entertainment, art, and uh, just a unique setting up and down Kansas Avenue. Two pocket parks for each block. And, and when are the plans going to be available for, you know, 
John Q. Public to take a look at it and, and see that. There should be an open house for the public in late January, um, and the city is coordinating that, and so it should be coming up real soon. Excellent. Well, you're doing some wonderful work. Uh, thank you for coming to DTI because I know a lot of us as the merchants and, and the vendors that are down here and the property owners, we really appreciate uh, having a good, strong leader down here and uh, you're constantly uh, pounding the pavement for us and we appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Vince, for you coming bet. on the show and you know, keep us updated. We want to have you back so we can will. keep everybody updated on the progress with downtown. I'd love to do it. All right. Thanks All right. a lot, Vince. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.